So while everyone is talking about chat GPT images, OpenAI just made a quieter move that says a lot about where chat GPT is headed next. Apple Music is coming to chat GPT. Yes, you heard that right. Not as a gimmick, not as a rebrand, but as part of a bigger shift in how we discover, organize and interact with applications using natural language. And if you're ready, let's break down what's actually happening, why it matters and why this update is more strategic than it actually looks. But before that, you know what I'm going to say. So please do it. Yes, like, share, subscribe. Of course, this is Front Page by AIM Network. So if you're ready, to be clear, Apple Music didn't turn into an AI product overnight. ChatGPT just plugged it in. OpenAI confirmed that Apple Music will soon be available inside ChatGPT's growing app ecosystem, allowing users to create playlists using natural language prompts, get music recommendations based on intent and context, open results directly in the Apple Music app on iOS or desktop. So you won't be listening to music inside ChatGPT. Playback, licensing, and subscriptions stay with Apple Music. ChatGPT just becomes the interface, not the music service. So if you are following front page, you've already probably seen this coming because Zomato coming to ChatGPT, Big Basket coming to ChatGPT, Razor Pay coming to ChatGPT, the list goes on. We of course have covered this extensively, and of course, if you haven't seen it, please check it out. It's some great uh, stuff, great research that we ended up doing. Of course, now back to the story. So if you've used Spotify inside ChatGPT, this will feel very familiar. You'll be able to say things like, for example, make a mellow late night work playlist from my library. Or build a 90s European pop playlist with female vocals. ABBA comes to mind. Anyway, that movie soundtrack where Adam Sandler plays a musician. ChatGPT handles discovery, context, iteration, and refinement. Apple Music handles playback, rights, your library. So it's conversational curation, not a new recommendation algorithm. Yes, Apple Music has had an open API for years. Yes, playlist algorithms already exist. But you know what? This changes how users actually interact with music libraries. So instead of menus, filters, buried discovery tabs, static stations, you get dialogue, intent-based discovery, memory across sessions, and more importantly, refinement without friction. So for users with large or chaotic libraries, this removes the mental load of playlist creation entirely. As many users pointed out, this isn't revolutionary technology, but it is a meaningful usability upgrade. Apple Music isn't arriving alone. According to OpenAI CEO of Applications, Fiji Simo, ChatGPT is preparing a broader app, direct, uh, the app directory, sorry, that includes Apple Music, Adobe, Airtable, Salesforce, OpenTable, Replete, and more. So this strongly suggests the app's SDK is exiting preview, positioning ChatGPT as a universal interaction layer across software. So we are of course no longer talking about a chatbot, we are actually talking about a command surface for apps. And yes, images got a big upgrade too, so congratulations. So alongside Apple Music, OpenAI also rolled out a major update to ChatGPT images, which is up to four times faster generation, much tighter edit precision, better text rendering inside images, stronger instruction following consistency across lighting, layout, and faces. Please make sure to stick around. You know why? Because we've got a very special episode of Debunked and we have a very special guest who is going to be debunking with me in terms of uh, the image understanding. Is it going to be an image makeover? Please stick around to find out. Anyway, one important clarification. If you do not use ChatGPT, nothing changes for you. Apple Music isn't being altered. It actually is, means that Siri isn't being replaced. No AI is forced into your music application. This is an optional integration for people who already use ChatGPT as their primary interface. It's additive not invasive. So the point is, why does this matter? And what is the point of it all? 
This update is about where ChatGPT is going. ChatGPT is steadily becoming a creative tool. Images, a productive layer, apps, a discovery engine, which is music, travel, search, a coordination layer across software. So basically, Apple Music inside ChatGPT is small on its own, but combined with apps, images, memory, and context, it signals a very clear shift from chatbot to operating layer. And in conclusion, here it is, the front page take. This interface evolution basically means ChatGPT is trying to sit above them, which means whether it's music, food, design, bookings, or content creation, the bet is simple. If users can just ask, they won't want to click. Apple Music joining ChatGPT is another step in that very direction. The question now, of course, isn't whether this works. It's actually how quickly people adapt to it. This is Front Page by AIM Network. And as we say always, think AI, think AIM. And of course, we'll be taking a short little break. But when we are back, we are going to be back with a huge bang because it is a time to celebrate as far as India's position is concerned in the global map.